Welcome to Hazel's Heroes. Hazel's Heroes has been on the school channel for a total of three years now. Hazel's Heroes is jointly sponsored by the Hazel Park Schools and the Hazel Park Lions Club to recognize kids like this who do outstanding things within their school or their community. We have three heroes with us right now from Webster School and from Clark School, right? I think I want to start with Webster School and I think I'll start with with Anthony. Do they call you Tony or Anthony? Tony. Tony. How old are you, Tony? Seven. Seven years old? And you go to what grade in school? Second. Second grade? Who's your teacher? Mrs. Norman. What do second graders do? Do you do anything that's fun in school? Nothing fun. Do you do things that are that make you work hard? Good. What do you do that's, that's hardest in school? Math. Math? And do anything else that's hard? Do you do reading? Do you have gym and music and things like that? Do you like gym and music? Do you go? Do you sing? You don't have to sing in music? Not at all. What do you do in music? Clap your hands? It's a time, huh? You do? Okay. Tell me, why are you a Hazel hero? Um, my friend had to stay after school, and I called his mother and told her not to work because he had to stay after. Who told you to do that? My mom. Your mom told you that if ever you stay, had to stay after school, that you should let her know, right? Why do you think she said that? I don't know. You don't know? Why did you want this, your, your friend? What's your friend's name? Chris. Chris. Why did you want your friend's, uh, why did you want his mother to know he had to stay after school? So she wouldn't worry. Why do you think she would worry? I don't know. You don't know? A lot of things can happen on the way to and from school, right? It's really, really important to let your mom know where you are, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't want my little guy out not knowing where he is. That was really a good thing you did. That shows that, um, that you're thinking about other people. That makes me really happy. Does it make your mom happy? But she was happy. Mr. What's your principal's name? Mr. Mara. I bet you he was happy, wasn't he? Huh? That's a really good thing. That's keep up the good work. And then we have what's your name? Lavanda Morgan. Lavanda? How old are you, Lavanda? Eight. And that makes you um what grade? Second. Oh, are you in his class? Mm-hmm. Oh you are. Two of you in the same class. And you told me you got all these pretty things um, from your mom, right? Your earrings and your bracelets. Mm -hmm. You must have 25 bracelets on, right? Is that the style nowadays? Yeah. It is. They wear all those bracelets? They're clever. Okay. Do How many girls in your class wear earrings? I'd say about three or four. Three or four. No, they're pretty. Look like diamonds, don't they? Okay. LaVonda, why are you a hazel hero? Because me and my dad spent two Saturdays painting the school grounds equipment to play on. Let me see, you had to go up there and paint that whole thing? Yeah, but my dad did the tough work. He did the tough work, and you did the easy work? Not easy. It I had to paint the bottom. I couldn't get as high as he could. Yeah, that's not an easy thing to do to paint, is it? Why did, why did you and your dad do that? Because I asked him... He wanted to do something with me, so he did. And then <laughs> I got my hair all covered in yellow paint. <laughs> you did? My shoes. <laughs> your shoes and your hair? Mm-hmm. How'd you get it out of that? The wind was blowing and the leaves kept sticking. My hair flew into the paint. Oh, wow. How did you get the paint out of your hair? I don't know what this stuff is called, but they put that in my hair and I had to go home and wash it 80 times. Mm-hmm. You know what's going to happen? What? That your hair is going to fall out. No. Nah. <laughs> you don't think so? Probably won't. We really appreciate you doing that for us. You know that? That takes a lot of work. Thank and that's you. good community service. Thank you. You're welcome. I bet you all the kids at school really like it painted, don't they? 
Mm -hmm. Did they know that you helped paint it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much for helping us. And now we got a big guy here. Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi. And your last name is what, Jeff? Hamama. Say it again. Hamama. Hamama. Is that it? Yes. How old are you, Jeff? Ten. And um, did you tell me you were in the fourth grade? Fifth. Fifth. Okay. Who's your teacher? Mrs. Kenyon. And you're from Clark School, right? Yes. How are things going at Clark School? Fine. You like school? Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes. All the time? Oh, you don't like it all the time? No. Nope. Oh, well, when do you like it best? I don't know. You must have a favorite time. In the morning. In the morning? What happens at Clark School in the morning at fifth grade? We get to do easy work. Oh, yeah? What kind of easy work? Like math, social studies sometimes. Mm-hmm. Spelling. And you like those classes? And they're hard for you. What do you do in the afternoon? Social studies, English, and we finish, sometimes we finish the work we didn't do in the morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you finish all the, all the problems that you didn't get done during your math class, huh? Okay. Um, why are you a Hazel Hero, Jeff? When I was a safety, I was walking to my post, and this man, he tried to, he tried to hold on to a stop sign, and he fell on the street. Um, he, I, I tried to um, help him get up, but I couldn't. So these two people came out of a truck and tried, they were looking for his house to take him home. And when a police was riding by, driving by, I stopped him. I told him what happened to the man, and I told him where he lives. Oh, you knew the man? I didn't know him, but you knew where some he lived. kids in the school, they lived next door to him. Oh. Do you know anything about this man? No. Is he Is he all right now? Yes. He is? Did they have to take him to the hospital or something? I don't know. Boy, that was a scary thing, wasn't it? Yes. Huh? I bet you you were all shook up. You did the right thing, didn't you? Yes. Did you tell your principal, tell the secretary? Yes. And did they call the police? No, the police just drive, drove by and I stopped them. Okay, they were just driving by. Then. That's pretty good. That's... <laughs> if something happens to me, I hope a guy like you is around to help me. You know that? I already do. But we have three superheroes. Good to have you guys. Thanks for coming, okay? All right. All right, we have four more heroes here. We have heroes from Roosevelt and heroes from Ford. I think I want to start over here with this hero from Roosevelt School. And this is a little hero, right? Hi. Randy. Your name is Randy? Uh-huh. What's your last name, Randy? Dotson. Dotson. Randy Michael Dodson. Randy Michael. Hey, Randy Michael, how you doing? Hmm. Huh? Good. Good? That's a pretty fancy outfit you got on there. I kind of like that. You like that yourself, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. So, um, you're in what grade at school? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Goodness, who's your teacher? Mrs. Robo. Mrs. Robo at, at, at Roosevelt School, right? Right. That's good. Do you like kindergarten? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You really do? What do you guys do in kindergarten? We work and we, when we have play time, we go to play time. Uh-huh. You work and then you have play time? Mm-hmm. And then you work some more? No. Sometimes we make we work a piece of paper. Uh-huh. Two pieces of paper. No kidding. And you have to write stuff on paper or draw? And we, we have to do our work with stuff on. Oh, on paper? Uh-huh. Oh, that's really good. Why are you a hero, Randy? Because I have a nice smile. Oh, you have a nice smile. That's for sure. I can see that. <laughs> All right. And I walk, learn to walk to cover by myself. You know, let me get this straight. You walk from Roosevelt School over to Calvary Baptist Daycare all by yourself, and then do you and you even have to walk back, right? You don't oh. go to Latchkey. Yeah, I do. Oh, so how do you back? I don't go go back. You don't go back. Oh, uh, that's a long way for a little nipper like you to walk in, then, huh? Yeah. That's a long way to walk. 
The cavalry? Yeah, the cavalry. Uh -uh. Oh. Isn't? Do you go over the bridge? Just cross the street and I had to walk over the bridge. Oh, all the way up over that bridge by yourself? Uh-huh. Well, I bet your mom is real proud of you, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she ought to be. That's and, good. I'm glad you learned that. And already. the kids break me. They do? Uh-huh. Hey, you must be all right. I like you already, and I've only known mm -hmm. you for five minutes, right? Thanks for coming, Randy. And we have who? Jerry Stark. Jerry? Stark? Yep. How are you, Jerry? Fine. And how old are you? Ten. Ten, you had to think a minute, huh? Almost would ask you a hard question, right? Ten years old. In what grade are you in? Six. And who's your teacher? Mr. DeSantis. Mr. DeSantis? And you also go to Roosevelt, obviously, Mr. DeSantis. Yep. Um, you're getting ready to go to junior high next year then, huh? Yep. You go to you'll be going to Webb? Yep. But right now you're a big shot at um at Roosevelt School, right? No. <laughs> you're not a big shot? Well, being sixth grader you must be a big shot. Have you always gone to Roosevelt? Mm-hmm. Tell me how you like your Roosevelt school. It's fun. It's fun? Did you learn anything? Tell me one thing you learned. Math. Do you learn know math? Good. Do you know your times tables? Some of them? You know how to add? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Hey, Randy, why are you, um... Uh, Randy. Why are you a hero? Because, um, um, courteous to other kids and I'm well liked by other kids. What does courteous mean? I'm nice to him. Nice to him? You expect, you respect their rights, right? Mm -hmm. When somebody else is talking, you don't interrupt. Mm -hmm. That's neat. That, you know, you know, you just can't, can't not have that and be successful in life. That's a really good trait. And I appreciate that. And I'm sure that your teachers appreciate that. And you know what, most of all? You'll appreciate that later on because people will treat you with the same kind of respect if you like that. That's really good. Glad to have you here. Thank you. There we have somebody from Ford School, I think, right? Mm -hmm. What's your name? Neely. Neely? Mm -hmm. Neely and your last name? Lawson. Lawson? Mm -hmm. uh, do you own Lawson's um, store? No. Oh, uh, that's too bad. I was going to try and get a deal from you. But you don't, huh? No. And uh, now, what grade are you in, Neely? Fifth. Fifth grade? Mm-hmm. Um, but you're in what they call a split level, right? Mm-hmm. And what does split level mean? It means like half fifth graders are in the class and half sixth graders are in the class. Oh, and who's your teacher? Miss Ratliff. And how does she teach both groups like that? Well, she puts one group on one side and the other group on the other side, and she gets different books at different times, and we talk over everything. Like, she asks them a question, and then she asks us a question, and she asks them a question, and asks us a question. And then that's how she does it. Mm. Are, are those sixth graders smarter than you guys? No. No, um, you don't think so, huh? No. I bet you the sixth graders think they are, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'll bet. Well, next year you'll be a sixth grader. Right? Mm hmm So, Neely, why are you a Hazel Hero? Because I get my work done progressly, and I get it done in a well period of time. Okay. So you are a, you're an excellent worker, I understand. Yep. You, you don't, you always have your homework done, you always have your classwork done, and you get it done by using your time well, right? Yes. Those are really important lessons for all of us to know. You know that? It is, Jerry, Randy, you know that. It is. If you use your time well, you'll be able to get your work done in the right, right period of time, right? Mm-hmm. And you always have time for recess. Always have time for recess. Randy, that's important to remember. You want to have recess? Boy, oh boy, you better get your work done, right? You don't have recess. I know, because you guys get to play all the time in kindergarten, right? Yeah. Won't be long before you have recess, though. I have to tell you that. And then you have to have your work done. Neely knows. I my dad. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. And our last hero from Ford School for this month is old... John Harris. John Harris. And how old are you, John? Nine. Nine years old. What grade is that? Fourth. Fourth. Do you have a split level, too? Only have fourth graders in your class, right? So, um, who's your teacher? Miss Parent. I heard she's really tough. Is that right? She's not? Mm. She doesn't make you work hard, John? No. 
I'm going to go talk to her because I've known Diane Parent for a long time. And I'm, maybe she's just being too easy on you, huh? Probably I don't know. not. Maybe you're a good worker. I don't know. Well, are you a good worker? Yeah. Most pretty of the good. time? That's good. So, um, do you like school young? Yeah. What's your favorite class? Mostly aid. Aid? What do you do as an aide? She eight? takes us out for recess for like about, like about for like 1.15 to like 2.10 or uh -huh. something like that. And that's your favorite class? Yep. Just getting outside and... Yep. What do you do when you go outside? Play. What kind of games, what kind of things do you do? We play, sometimes I play football, sometimes I play baseball. Mm -hmm. You like all those ball games, huh? Yeah, that's good. Tell me, why are you a Hazel Hero? Because, like, if, like, other kids come in that are new in our class and they don't have many friends, so some of, if, like, some of the kids don't like them, mm -hmm. I always, like, help them out with their work and, um, show them where to sit. And show them where the them, bathroom is and things like that, right? Yeah, and get them their books and get them their paper. That's really good. Have you ever gone to a new school? No. Nope. So you always knew where everything was, right? Yep. Have you ever gone someplace where you didn't know anybody? No. Well, you know how scary that would be? That would be a scary thing. I've gone some places where I didn't know anybody, and you know, I was scared. And people like you are really helpful because then you don't get scared, right? If somebody's mm -hmm. friendly to you. Right, Neil? Yeah. You wouldn't be scared if you went someplace new if somebody was friendly to you, would you? No, it would be, it'd be nice to have somebody be friendly to you. That's super. I hope you continue to do that. You know that? Because that's just the right thing to do. We appreciate you guys. Glad to have Randy here. Glad to have Jerry here. And Neely. And John. You guys are really good heroes. Good group. Good smile. Thanks. All right, our last group of heroes come from Edison School and from Hoover School. And I think we'll start over here with this... Um, Blonde lady? Hi. Hi. And your name is what? Rebecca. And your last name, Rebecca? Lewis. Rebecca Lewis. How old are you, Rebecca? Ten. Ten? And what grade are you in? Fifth. And who's your teacher? Miss Burke. Miss Burke. Okay. Have you always gone to Hoover School? Mm-hmm. You like Hoover School? Mm-hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite thing about school? Spelling. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I never liked spelling when I was in school. And you can do that? Mm-hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well, I don't know. I never learned how to do that very well. So you like spelling? Mm-hmm. Tell me why you're a Hazel Hero. Um, I found five dollars in a library book. You found a five-dollar bill? Was it a five-dollar mm -hmm. bill? Well, it's a pretty expensive bookmark, isn't it? Who, um, what'd you do with the five dollars? Um, I showed the teacher and she told me to go upstairs and get that person. What person? How'd she know, how'd she know who it was? We was going by the, um, last person who, um, had the library book out. Mm-hmm. Was it their five dollars? Mm-hmm. How did you ask them? Did you say, did you leave some money in the book? Was another student? Mm-hmm. It was, and they had five bucks? Mm-hmm. Wow. I bet you they were really happy, huh? Do they look happy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> when they got their five dollars back? Yeah, I would be happy. Did you have any thoughts about maybe not saying anything? And just keeping the money? I thought in, um... I should turn it into the teacher's shower. That was really good, because it'd be easy to slip that in your pocket, wouldn't it? And that, mean, that means that you're a really an honest person. That's really good. I'm really proud of you. I bet you. I bet your teacher's proud of you. And I know Mr. Gibson's proud of you. And I know that your parents are probably proud of you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really good. You really are a hero, because $5 is a lot of money, isn't it? And you could buy lots of stuff with $5, right? Huh? All right, then we have some people here from Edison School. Well, let's start with this guy. Hi. Hi. 
How are you? Good. And what's your name? Chris. And what's your last name, Chris? Williams. How old are you? Six. And what grade in school? First. <laughs> that means you go to school all day now, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Do you like going all day? Yeah. Does it make you tired? Do you yeah. go to bed nice and early at night? Huh? Yeah. What time do you go to bed? 8.30. 8.30 every night? Not every night, because I got a happiness club. You have a happiness club? Well, what's, what's this happiness club stuff? It's like church. Uh-huh. And what church is that? Tabernacle. Tabernacle Baptist. And you go to happiness club on Wednesday night, probably. Every night. Every night? Except the last night. You didn't go last night. My brother is sick. Oh. Well, My dad worked late. Yeah. So you couldn't go last night? But you go every night of the week? Yeah. Mm. What do you do at Happiness Club? Make stuff. Mm-hmm. Like what? Skeletons like we had back here? No, you don't do that. We made fishes one night. Uh-huh. And one night, and one Sunday, when it began, we made a picture of Adam and Eve. No kidding. That's really good. So, who's your teacher at Edison School? Miss Fox. What do you do in first grade? Do you make things in first grade? What kind of things? Sometimes we make pictures. Huh? Well, what else do you do in first grade? We have snacks. You do? Yeah. What do you guys eat in school? Whatever stuff we bring in our lunchbox. Oh, so you take a little snack out of your lunchbox? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. Can you tell me why you're a Hazel hero? Because I do good on math. Uh huh. And I take turns on the computer. Wow, you can do a computer? Mm hmm. Huh. That's really good. I'm glad that you can take turns. That's important to learn, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm glad that you're doing so well in your classes. Because I understand you're doing really good, right? Mm-hmm. Good. Glad that you're a Hazel hero, Chris. And then we have Phil, right? Yeah. Hey, Phil, what's your, what's your last name? Churchill. Churchill? And how old are you, Phil? Six. Six? Does that mean that you're in first grade? Yep. At Edison School, too? Mm -hmm. Are you in his class? Nope. Yep. Oh, they have two first graders? Huh? Two of them? Well, now, who's your teacher? Mrs. Sullivan. Oh, Mrs. Sullivan. That's right. She does teach first grade, doesn't she? So, um, what do you guys do in first grade? Play. Is that all you do? Nope. Oh, what else? Work. What kind of work do you guys have to do in first grade? Math. Uh-huh. Anything else? Um, make pictures. Uh-huh. I bet you're working on the alphabet, aren't you? Nope. You already know the alphabet? Oh, I guess that's why you're not working on it, right? Are you working on sounds? So you can yes. sound out words? Yeah, but you are too, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Chris, yeah, you have to learn how to sound those words out so you can read good, right? Yep. So tell me, why are you here as a hero? I do good work and I listen. Those are important things to do, you know that? You know if you listen, you can learn more than if you talk? Did you know that? It's true, and being a good listener is one of the most important things that any of us can do. And I'm really glad that you're a good listener. You know that? Glad you could come here. There you have it. Hazel's Heroes from Edison School. Philip Churchill, Chris Williams, and who we have over here? Rebecca. Hey, thanks for being a Hazel Hero. All right, the last portion of our, of our program is to give each of the students a certificate in a t-shirt signifying that they were indeed a Hazel hero in 1985. And we have Mrs. Ann Bushinsky here, Community um, Education Coordinator, um, to give out the certificate. So I'm going to call names and you come up and get your certificate and your t-shirt. Neely Lawson. Hey, 
Congratulations. Congratulations, Neely. <laughs> right hand, very good. Okay. Then we have John Harris. Congratulations, John. Okay, John, congratulations. Keep those dimples on, won't you? <laughs> okay, Randy Dodson. There you go, Randy. Good job. Okay, Tiger. Right hand, too. That's really good. There you go, Randy. Jeffrey Hamama. Nice job, Jeff. Congratulations, Jeff. Congratulations, Jeff. Here's your certificate. Jerry Stark. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jerry. There's your certificate. Philip Churchill. Hey, old Philip. Good job. Hey there, Tiger. Congratulations. There you go. Christopher Williams. Whoa, Chris, you almost passed me by. Here you go. Congratulations. Yeah, you shake hands. Okay. Oh, let's try the right hand, Chris. There we go. Okay, and your certificate. Good. Rebecca Lewis. Here you go, Rebecca. Congratulations. Congratulations, Rebecca. Tony McGrath. Better known as Anthony. Very cool. Congratulations. Congratulations, Anthony. Lavonda Morgan. Last but not least, Lavanda. There you go. Congratulations. Lady with all the bracelets. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. There you have it. October's version of Hazel's Heroes. Remember, many times we look around and we say, boy, look at those kids, what they're doing to our schools. But I say today we've seen some kids who are really good kids. Most of them are. Look for them. You'll see them. They're all Hazel's Heroes.